Just last Tuesday, Apple announced its new line of iPhones, and the big surprise was the low-cost, unapologetically plastic iPhone 5C. I say surprise, but if you've looked at any Apple blogs, you've seen posts about this since June of this year. Well, since the announcement, we've been wondering if the iPhone 5C is just an iPhone 5 with a new case, or if there's more than meets the eye. There's only one way we know to find out, and that's to tear it down. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the colorful new iPhone 5C. The iPhone 5C takes the place of the 5 in the iPhone product line, which now includes the 4S, the 5C, and the 5S. It comes in your choice of five different colors, and spec-wise, the iPhone 5C is very similar to the 5. It features a 4-inch display with a resolution of 1136 by 640 and a pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. Not surprisingly, the iPhone 5C is very close in size to the 5, albeit a little bigger, measuring in at 124.4 millimeters in height, 59.2 millimeters in width, and 8.97 millimeters in depth, and weighs in slightly heavier than the 5 at 132 grams. As we go to open the phone, we're greeted again by pentalobe screws, and look, they have slightly different heads. We're sure it's to accommodate that trendy new case. And just like that, we're in. Our very first look inside the phone is deja vu all over again. As expected, it looks very similar to the iPhone 5 inside. Since we've seen it all before, we move on to the battery. After a little help from our eye opener, we're able to release the battery and find that it's a nice upgrade from the 5. The 5C has been bumped up to a 1,510 milliamp hour battery, which will give you up to eight hours on 3G and 10 hours on LTE and Wi-Fi. As we turn our attention to the logic board, we see something we were not expecting, and we're not too happy about it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, more glue. We turn our spudger on to some adhered connectors, and finally, the logic board is free. Now we have the opportunity to inspect the chips that make up the iPhone 5C. Behind some shielding, we discovered the same A6 chip. The A6 was the first custom design processor for the iPhone by Apple, and it looks like they liked it enough to keep it around for a bit. All in all, the internals of the iPhone 5C match the 5 pretty closely with the exception of the new LTE chip. The chip allows for multi-spectrum, multi-mode LTE support. With our teardown complete, it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, our mission is to teach people how to repair everything. So we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between 1 and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and 1 being the most difficult. The iPhone 5C scores a 6 out of 10 for repairability. And here's why. On the plus side, and just like the iPhone 5, you only need a few tools to replace the front panel assembly. And the battery is still fairly easy to access, even though it's not technically user replaceable. On the downside, Apple is still using those pesky proprietary screws, so you'll need a special pentalobe driver to remove them. In addition, the lightning connector has lots of small components soldered onto it, making replacing just one part impossible. But the final downside and the reason for scoring a 6 is the battery. There's no pull tab this time, and there's a considerable amount of adhesive. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful high-quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit, and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com ifixit.